in this video i will consider one numerical on superposition theorem for the network shown below find current ix using superposition theorem this is the given circuit here we supposed to find the current ix which is flowing through one ohm resistor using superposition theorem here as we see that this circuit consists of three sources among that through two are voltage sources that is 5 volt and 10 volt and we have one more source that is current source of magnitude 1 amp as we know in superposition theorem at a time we supposed to consider one source so first let me consider 5 volt source alone when we are considering single source we supposed to make other two sources to zero if there is a voltage source we have to short it and if there is a current source we have to open it now if i consider 5 volt source alone then we supposed to open this 1 amp current source and we have to short this 10 volt voltage source now let me redraw the circuit considering 5 volt source alone so this is the circuit considering 5 volt source alone that is let me write here considering consider 5 volt source alone so therefore 1 amp current source is open circuited and 10 volt voltage source is short circuited so here i have made short circuited there was a voltage source and here i made it open circuit therefore current source therefore i can write 1 amp is open and 10 volt is short circuited short circuit So now I will call the current through 1 ohm register as IX1 that IX1 indicates the current through 1 ohm register considering 5 volt source alone. So I will simplify this using loop analysis method. Here we can apply any method either loop analysis or node analysis anything is fine. Now let me apply loop analysis. So anyways the current IX1 is flowing in this loop. So current in this loop is say IX1 we have here another loop let the current through this loop is say uh, i2 i will call it as i2 so apply kvl to first loop so phi is equal to the voltage across one ohm is 1 into ix1 plus the current will flow through two ohm register so voltage across two ohm register is ix1 minus i2 because in two ohm register both currents are flowing that is ix1 minus i2 so simplifying this that is phi is equal to we have ix1 plus 2 ix1 minus 2 i2 or i can write phi is equal to we have 3 ix1 minus 2 i2 let me call it as equation 1 now let me apply kvl to i2 loop so here i can find here there are no any voltage sources that is 0 is equal to voltage across 5 ohm is phi i2 then the current will flow through 2 ohm register voltage across this is that is 2 we have i2 minus ix1 because now we are applying kvl to loop i2 so i2 should be pro dominant so we have to consider i2 first here we have considered ix1 first because that we were applying kvl to loop ix1 so simplifying this phi i2 plus 2 i2 minus 2 ix1 or i can write 0 is equal to minus 2 ix1 plus 7 i2 let me call it as equation 2 now let me solve these two equations solving equation 1 and 2 so this equation can be solved directly by using calculator keeping calculator in equation mode considering two variables so solving 1 and 2 we get ix1 is equal to 2.0588 amps and i2 is equal to 0. 588 amps so anyhow 
I am interested in calculating IX1. So current through one ohm register considering 5 volt source alone is 2.0588. So we no need to consider this I2 because we are not interested. We are interested in calculating current IX which is flows through one ohm register. So here in this circuit we have considered 5 volt source alone. Now let me consider 10 volt source alone. So in that case this one amp current source will be open circuited and this 5 volt voltage source will be short circuited. Now let me redraw the circuit considering 10 volt source alone. So this is the circuit consider 10 volt source alone. So here there was a current source I made it open. Here there was a voltage source I made it short circuited. So now let me call current through this loop is say I. So here I have shown the same current direction that is IX. So now I will call it as IX2 that is current through one ohm register when 10 volt source alone is considered. So now we will try to find current IX2. So apply KVL to loop I. I can write 10 is equal to we have phi I plus then current will flow through 2 ohm register that is 2 I plus IX2 because in 2 ohm register current I as well as IX2 are flowing both are flowing in same direction. So this current IX2 will flow like this. So simplifying this 10 is equal to we have phi I plus 2I plus 2IX2 2IX2 or I can write 10 is equal to we have 2IX2 plus 7I. Let me call it as equation 1. Similarly, now let me apply KVL to loop IX2. So here there are no any voltage sources. So it is 0 is equal to voltage drop across 1 ohm register is 1 into IX2 plus here we have 2 in bracket IX2 plus I. IX2 plus I. Simplifying this, we have 1 IX2 plus 2. We have ix2 plus 2i or I can write 0 is equal to we have 3 ix2 plus 2i. Call it as equation 2. Now solving equation 1 and 2. So here also we can solve these two equations directly using calculator. Keeping calculator in equation mode there you can choose two variables or two unknowns. Just directly feed the values, you will get the result. So solving these two, we will get Ix2 is equal to minus 1.176 amps and we have I is equal to 1.764 amps. So we are interested in current IX. So this is the current flows through one ohm register considering 10 volt source alone. So now similarly, so here we have considered a 5 volt source, 10 volt source. Now we are supposed to consider one amp current source alone. In that case, this 5 volt will be short circuited. This 10 volt will be short circuited. Now let me draw the equivalent circuit considering one amp source alone. So this is the circuit considering one amp source alone. That is consider one amp alone. So here also we supposed to find the current through one ohm register. So I will call it as IX3. Now let me find IX3. So here I will try to simplify. So here we can see that 5 ohm and 2 ohm are in parallel. I will try to replace these two registers by single register. Let me simplify this. This is 1 ohm. Here current IX3 is flowing. And here we have 5 and 2 are in parallel. That is 2 parallel with 5. That is 5 into 2 divided by 5 plus 2. That is 10 by 7 which is equal to 1.428. So 
so let me replace two registers by 1.428 and this current source is connected in parallel with this this is one amp so now we'll try to find ix3 here we can see that the current i flowing like this at this node the current will divide part of the current will grow here part of the current will flow here let me call the current through this branch is x current through this branch is y so by applying current division rule that is by applying current division rule i can find y that is y is equal to total current into opposite resistor that is we are finding current which is flows through one ohm resistor the opposite to that is 1.428 that is called opposite resistor total current into opposite resistor that is 1.428 divided by sum of these two resistors that is 1 plus 4.1 plus 1.428 which is equal to 1.428 divided by 2.428 so simplifying this we'll get so we'll get 0.588 so here we can see that y and ix3 both are same which are flowing through one ohm register but opposite to each other therefore here i can say ix3 is equal to minus y therefore we can say ix3 is equal to minus 0.588 amps so current through one ohm register is minus 0.588 so therefore current through therefore current through one ohm is ix is equal to that is total current we can call it as total current through one ohm is ix is equal to ix1 plus ix2 plus ix3 that is ix is equal to the ix1 is 2.0588 ix2 is minus 1.1764 and ix3 is minus 0.588 so simplifying this we'll get ix is equal to 0.294 amps so current through one ohm register that is ix is equal to 0.294 so this is solved using superposition theorem thank you for watching